and you don't force it. Okay, I see a lot of people try to teach my concepts. It'll talk about market structure breaks or shifts, and we'll use that term interchangeably. But for intraday, I want you to think about intraday market structure shifts because it's not necessarily a break in market structure that leads to prolonged multi-day movement. Okay, what do I mean by that? If you see a market structure that's bearish and it's broken to the downside, intraday, that may just lead to an intraday price leg that may eventually see that high be taken out in the same day. So that's why I'm using the term market structure shift, not market structure break. For our conversation here on this mentorship, just know that when I'm going to lean on that term market structure break, it means a little bit more in context versus an intraday shift in market structure. It just means that there's likely a, a downside draw or an upside draw intraday by saying the term shift. Okay, so there's a little bit of semantics there. All right, so we have both of these areas here and here where there would be a likelihood of a market structure shift. Up here, we look for a fake run above here. So that fake run above, how do we know it's going to be a market structure shift that's bearish? I get that question a lot, even from mentorship students. What you're looking for is the evidence I'm going to show you here tonight, okay? Forget everything else everybody else says about market structure breaks and shifts and all that stuff. This is it, okay? This is the brass tacks. There's absolutely nothing else that you need to know about it, I promise you. If they add anything to it, it's just because they want to sound and look different. But this is the algorithmic perspective of a market structure shift in today. Now keep this price level in mind. So it's essentially 14,600 and 14,820. We're just eyeballing it, okay? Now dropping all the way down into a two minute chart. This is that same particular day. Here's those relative equal highs. And this run down here, okay? If you recall, 14.6 and around that 14.860 or so, okay? If you look at this market structure, without having the levels on your chart, it's easy to get lost in all the quote unquote noise, the uninitiated. And I know it's going to razz the people that don't care to really learn here. <laughs> but the uninitiated folks that will watch a video or listen to some of the lectures I'll put out, they're trying to bring something in. They're trying to bring in their preconceived notions and ideas about what they think they understand about markets or technical analysis or something in price action. And I want to kind of like allow you to just put that aside for a moment and just imagine this chart is the first time you looked at price action for the first time. I know it's hard, but kind of like strip away everything else that you want to bring to the conversation. No order block discussion, no breaker, none, none of that stuff, okay? Supply and demand, Elliott Wave, all that garbage. If you look at this price action here, when we had this low form, right before this low was formed, there's a swing high right there. Now, in the first mentorship video I gave you, I mentioned that high frequency trading algorithms will use market structure on a three minute, two minute, and one minute chart many times sub one minute. That would be like 45 second, 30 second, 15 second intervals. Okay. What the algorithms are actually doing, and this is also going to correct a lot of people out there because they put out misinformation. It's so nonsensical, but I'm challenging you to go into your charts and see if this is not what's actually going on because it happens every day. If high frequency algorithms are operating every single day, then these signatures will be in the chart. Okay. If you look at this short term high here, right before this low formed, when this high is taken out right there on that candle, that's significant. Only, only if this run down here has traded into sell stops, okay, below an old low of some kind. It could be a, 
a double bottom, it could be a single low, okay? But it's gotta be trading under some retail idea that would be viewed as support. Up here, the same thing. We're trading above highs. So we know that above old highs, a, a neophyte's perspective will be, these are unknown orders, so therefore that's a flawed perspective on price action. How do you know there's liquidity up there? How do you know there's buy stops up there? It's just logic. It's simple. Look at the chart. Everybody's trying to do something based on some kind of theory, logic, whatever, some system. There's buyers and sellers coming in at all times. Their buying and selling quote unquote strength or pressure has absolutely no bearing on where these prices are going to go. I know that may shake individuals that think they know something about the markets. Oh, I have an uncle that used to be on the floor of the Chicago Board of Trade and blah, blah, blah. The Mercantile Exchange guys say this. I don't care. Okay. I don't care what any of those folks say because they didn't design the algorithm. So, again, put all those you know, talking points and everybody else's opinion you've adopted because you probably heard someone else talk about it and you subscribe to the review because it's easier just to do that instead of going and looking at it for yourself. And that's what I'm asking you to do. I'm telling you, this is my personal belief. You're going to see proof of these things in a live account execution. But I want you to see the logic behind it because if you can see this, you'll be light years ahead of everyone else. And you'll laugh in the face of all these people that are going to tell you you're wasting your time trying to learn this. I promise you, this lesson is going to change a lot for you. When this run above these relative equal highs happens right there, you're anticipating a market structure shift. You're not forcing it. You're not trying to get ahead of it. Okay. I don't think any of you are going to have the skill set to do that. There are ways to know when to sell short right above that and not even wait for the shift in market structure. Just like there's ways to know to be a buyer down here without seeing that short term high broken, then looking for a buy. Over here, the opposite. See this swing low? Let me go back to this for a second. We have this high on this candle. Then we have the candle right after that here, the highest one, and then the lower high of this candle here. So that's a swing high. Very simple little pattern, but it means a lot when it's in the proper context. When this high is broken with this particular candle right there, that is significant only on the basis that we have taken liquidity out of the marketplace. That's it. So when it broke this short term high, this is more meaningful. And then the market will start to seek buy stops. Okay. Or buy side liquidity that would rest above here here and here.